Hi, it's Nix here from Quest for a Farm, and it is now coming into autumn. And today is the first really cold day that we've had so far this year. Um, so I woke up this morning and I decided that I want hot chocolate. And since I'm going to be making hot chocolate, well, a hot chocolate mix that we can put in a container and keep it stored, I decided I'm also going to make some pancake mix and some brownie mix. So that is what we're going to do today. So we're going to start off with our pancake mix. Now, when I say pancakes, what I'm talking about is the American style pancakes, which here in South Africa, we actually call flapjacks. Um, what we call a pancake is actually more similar to a crepe, but we are going to make the mix anyway. And I'm actually mixing a lot of this today um, because we are five people in this household, soon to be seven. Um, and two of those people are teenage boys and one Afrikaans man who is not shy when it comes to appetite. We make big batches of food. So the original recipe, I have actually times by three and a half. So I will give you both sets of measurements as I'm busy doing this. So we're going to start off with flour. The original recipe calls for six cups of flour. I'm pushing that up to 21. Okay, so that is our 21 cups of flour. Then we need, the original recipe calls for one third cup of sugar. So I am multiplying that to 1.2 cups of sugar. So that is a cup and a 20th. A quarter, no, <laughs> a fifth. <laughs> Oh, my word. 20%. 20%. 20%. 20%. 20%. Oh. So that is one cup. And a quarter in South Africa, we follow our ex president. <laughs> 170.62. And a fifth. Then we need the original recipe calls for three tablespoons of baking powder. So I need to put in 10 and a half. So that's 10 and a half. And that is baking powder. Okay, so that is one. We need the original recipe calls for two teaspoons of baking soda. So I need to put in six. Seven teaspoons of baking soda going in. And then we need some salt. So I'm going to put five teaspoons of salt in here. The original recipe called for... I can't even remember. A pinch. Yes. Right, so that is all of our ingredients that has gone in here. Now, we need to whisk this together. And then I'm going to actually put this into baggies to store it. Now, to mix this up, for every cup of this mixture that you use, you need to add one egg and three quarters cup of milk or buttermilk. Okay. If you don't have buttermilk, what you can do is put a teaspoon of lemon juice 
into some milk and that'll give it that buttermilky consistency. Now the baggies that I'm going to be putting this into, I'm actually portioning out five cups. Was it five cups? Four and a half. Four and a half. Just a smidge over. Round one. about four and a half cups of this mixture for each sort of serving. So when I mix my oops, no. When I mix my batter up, I'm going to need four to five eggs, depending on how big these eggs are. So I would try and use either four biggish eggs or five smallish eggs. And I will need 830 mils of milk. Then you mix this all together and you can start making your pancakes. So I'm going to go do that. And then when we come back, we will be making some brownie mix. Show how you label your packet. Okay, yeah. So this is how I've labeled the baggies. So I've written the pancake mix, obviously, because we want to know what's in the baggie. And then just 45 eggs, 830 mils of milk. So I'm putting them in these bags because it's easier to store this way. Um, I'm going to see if I can actually heat seal these bags and then I can stack them up in my pantry. I will also throw a bay leaf in with each bag. Um, I usually keep the flour in the freezer um, and then just decant as we need it. But... Um, Bay leaves also help to, to stop weevils from invading your food. Okay, we've now got all of our pancake mixture packed and we will put that into the cupboard shortly. I am now moving on to the hot chocolate mix. I am doubling my recipe because we can go through this stuff. So I'm not even going to tell you what the original recipe is because this stuff is so good. Everybody needs to just double this just recipe. Just make double. <laughs> so we need four cups of dried powdered milk. I use the full cream milk. Um, a lot of people say that the low fat milk or skim milk lasts longer. I don't care. The full cream tastes better. It won't last that long. And it's, yeah, it's not going to last long enough to become unshelf stable. So that is four cups of powdered milk. We're up to three. Mm. Might need to open the other package. Yes, we will. What is it? All right. So that is four cups of dried powdered milk. Then we need two cups of cocoa powder. And obviously unsweetened <coughs> cocoa powder. Yeah. Why is this not working? <laughs> it just yeah. wants to double out. Okay, that's one. Um, okay. Using the teaspoon. Um, just tip it a little bit more. Okay. Oh. That is two cups of cocoa powder. We then need two tablespoons of cornstarch. So, what the cornstarch does, no, we don't. We need four tablespoons of this. <laughs> So, <laughs> what the corn flour does is it works as an anti-caking agent so that this doesn't get all lumpy, firstly. And secondly, it also helps with the mouthfeel. So, it gives it a nice, smooth, silky texture. It just, it's, 
it tastes better. Then we need four cups of powdered sugar. So I have my powdered sugar here, four cups of this. I am doubling up this recipe and I'm not 100% sure that I'm going to have enough powdered sugar. So if I do run out, I am going to then just substitute with some caster sugar. Um, you can probably even put granulated sugar in. But the thing with the finer sugars is that they melt a lot easier. So when you pour your hot water in, if you used um, powdered sugar or caster sugar, it melts a lot better. Okay, so that was two cups. I will have enough of this. If you want it slightly sweeter. Yeah, if you want it slightly sweeter, you can actually add um, extra powdered sugar in. So depending on how much sweeter you want it, I actually think I might add one extra cup in. Because we... Especially the kids in this house do like it to be quite sweet. Come on. Okay, that will do. So, almost five. Almost five cups. Yeah, so the original recipe would have called for four cups. But if you want it sweeter, you can add six cups. I've added five. So we're sort of in the middle there. So now... We mix this all together nicely. So you mix it until everything is well combined and you don't want to see any lumps in here. So for to make this up, you would mix one to two tablespoons of this mix with eight ounces which is 230-ish milliliters of hot water. Um, what I also like to do when I'm making any hot chocolate is I like to add a little bit of milk in with it. I just prefer it like that. Okay, so this looks like it's all nicely incorporated. So I am actually going to move this into my container that I am going to store this in. This is probably, where are we today? Early April, mid-April. No, day of the week. Oh, <laughs> um, we are on a Thursday. Yeah, so we are on a Thursday today. Um, and I doubt that there'll be any of this left by the end of the weekend, especially if the whole weekend is as chilly as it's been this morning. No, we're not that bad. Yes, we are. Okay, we are. All right, so I am now going to transfer this. I'm recycling an old sugar container, um, because that's what I have, and we are putting some aside. Just stealing stuff for the neighbours. For our neighbours. All right, so now we've got our pancake mix and our hot chocolate mix all sorted out. And now we're going to do our brownie mix. I am going to try and do three batches. So one batch makes a pan of brownies. So I'm actually doing these separately so that we can literally just haul one bag out, mix in our wet ingredients and throw it in the oven. So each batch wants two thirds of a cup of flour. So this, this flour is sticking in the bottom of the cup. Okay, that's our flour done. Okay, and then 
one and a quarter cups of sugar. One. You'll see I'm not um, I'm kind of eyeballing the quarter cup, I will be honest. I don't know where any of my measuring cups are. Since we moved from the city into this house, a lot of my baking utensils have kind of gone a bit missing. Yeah, I think they're in crates in the garage. Yeah, I think they're in crates in the garage. So we'll just eyeball it for now. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. What then could possibly need go wrong? Half a cup of cocoa powder. So I think I need a spoon for this. Alright, okay, okay. Yeah. So that is half a cup of cocoa powder, but let's first quickly put in the salt. So we need a quarter teaspoon of salt in each of these and then half a cup of cocoa powder that's a bit more than half a cup yeah that should do it maybe one heating spoon yeah sure it's not no it's not okay all right so that is our dry ingredients for brownies all mixed together i keep it in these little ziploc bags then we'll just roll these up smush that all around and then once we've done that we'll add some chop chips into each bag You can keep the chop chips out and add them in when you're actually going to bake it. I like to put them in now. Then I don't have to stress about it too much. And then when we want to bake these, we are going to add some vanilla. Uh, we'll add two eggs, eight tablespoons of melted butter, and some vanilla extract. Uh, then you're gonna preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius. And you will just throw these into the oven until they are as smudgy as you like. You can see I'm not very, I just throw chop chips in. I like to measure this with my heart. I don't stick to a specific measurement. And there we go. So that is pancake mix ready to go, brownie mix ready to go, and hot chocolate in a jar in the kitchen. So we can just have some whenever we feel like it. We better hide that from the children. And I am now going to clean up the mess that I've made in this kitchen, make myself a cup of hot chocolate, and that will be me for the rest of the day. Hope you enjoyed this video. I am going to link two other videos below that you might be interested in. And we hope to see you again next time. So that is three packs of brownie premix, five packs of pancake premix, and a whole lot of hot chocolate. So that is eight quick throw to give it give the treats for us and enough hot chocolate powder to last us maybe half maybe half of winter maybe maybe <laughs>